Hey guys, it's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Aries right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, these are just general readings. They may or may not resonate for all Aries out there. Check your birth chart. If this does not resonate with you, um, you guys can also check out other readers. Um, what else? Energy can be reversed. Time is fluid. Um, you guys can also contact me for personal readings if you like. Um, my email is in the description box below for you down there. And let's see. Oh, thank you guys for all your love and support. All right, let's see what's going on with Aries for this week in April. Happy birthday to the Aries out there. What's going on with Aries for this week in April? What's going on with Aries for this week in April? All right, so we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right, so someone has to definitely release their ex or release their energy detoxify the energy around them and then we have stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking faith will bring you romance releasing an ex can um trigger a lot of bitterness in someone because um, a lot of times when you release someone you don't get the closure that you need right um and it starts to make you feel like you can't you can't, it, it starts to give you some sort of resentment, bitterness, you know what I mean? Because you didn't get the closure, right? And I feel like spirit needs you to let go of this expectation of someone saying sorry to you, Aries, right? Or someone making things right. We have the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups here. I feel like someone here is very sorry about something or something that they regret. Yeah, someone is being released and they regret it. All right, let's see. How does Aries person feel about them right now? How does Aries person feel about them? How does Aries person feel about them right now? Okay. So we have the seven of wands, the six of wands, the ten of swords, the Page of Cups and the Two of Wands came out. All right, so this is what I'm getting from this person. I feel like this person here, they see that, okay, this is your energy here. Because I'm, I'm seeing them be defeated by something. Something has definitely ended. They want to apologize for something. They want to apologize for being very defensive towards you and um, acting as if they were the bee's knees, acting like they had all the attention you killed their ego aries uh whatever you did to this person they are no longer feeling like this anymore they they're no longer feeling on top of the world is what i'm getting here yeah the queen of swords um yeah but now they want to apologize because they seen that you're definitely blocking them i feel like you guys are getting a lot of uh accolades attention and they're not getting anything all right how do you feel about this person aries how does Aries feel about this person right now? How does Aries feel about this person? Okay. So we have the Page of Wands, the World card. What else? How does Aries feel about this person? Okay, so we have um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Swords. All right, so I feel like you fear that this person is going to come back. You don't want this person to come back. You want things to stop between you two with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person is worried that things are stopping between you two. I feel like you are going to be defensive. You're going to fight this person off. Um, I feel like you're getting good luck and fortune here. But at the same time, you're still worried about something. You're worried about them messaging you back because you don't want them, you don't want them to come back with an offer like that. You fear them um, being defensive again. Every time you come in with this page of wands here um, to this person, Aries, they sort of like block you or be defensive. Or I'm hearing something about, you know, um, acting a certain way in front of their friends, right? And downplaying you. I feel like that's why you ended it and you changed everything. You changed everything. All right. So tell me about the Six of Wands for Aries. Six of Wands for Aries. Six of Wands for Aries. I feel 
like you guys are like fresh out of battle. Is that what I'm hearing? I, I just heard fresh out of battle. Um, you guys battled something here. We got the three of pentacles here with the hangman. Um, I feel like someone is being very enlightened in a group that they're working in. All right, so the king of pentacles here. So I feel like, all right, this is what's going on. This person here maybe rejected your offer or um, denied your offer because there was a third party involved, three of pentacles. But this is like people that they team up with, right? Um, I also feel like with the hangman here, it's like they they weren't seeing something right. They saw something as a different perspective. Someone wasn't seeing eye to eye in a um, work situation. Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please, for Aries. Ten of Swords for Aries. Ten of Swords for Aries. Oh, it flipped over. Okay, so we have, all right, so we have the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, they feel like you definitely left them out in the cold. They feel abandoned by you right now. Um... Aries, they're not exactly in the best place right now. I feel like they act as if they are, but they're not. I feel like whoever they're working with, I feel like they realize that, that you're the person that they should have worked with here. Because they're not doing too well right now. Alright, why is the Seven of Wands here for Aries? Seven of Wands for Aries. The Six of Wands, see? I feel like this person denied you to get some sort of attention from someone else. Look, we have the Empress, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, or the Ten of Wands. It could have been a third party. You cut them out and you said you're not going to be in competition, right? Tell me about the Six of Wands here. Six of Wands for Aries. This person, like, didn't think that you would get some sort of success. We have the Magician here. Yeah, this person is like a clown. The magician always comes off as a clown to me. Only because it's like they they manipulate the energy around them to make it look like a certain way. This person tries to make their life look a certain way. And it got them left out in the cold, period. Alright, why is the page of cups here for Taurus? Look, the five of swords. They're going to do whatever it takes to come back and bring you an offer. Um, They're going to do it in like... An unstable way though they're not gonna do it the right way I feel like this person tries to get you to not move on too is what I'm getting here they try to get you to not move on all right but tell me about the uh, wheel of fortune here for Taurus why is the wheel of fortune here for Taurus wheel of fortune for Taurus I'm sorry, Aries. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries, Spirit? The Lovers. You guys could be coming into a new uh, love here, but the Wheel of Fortune and Lovers, it's like karmic love. Hmm. Tell me more about the Lovers. Why is the Lovers here for Aries? The Knight of Pentacles. Someone here wants to be loyal to you. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Someone here wants to be loyal to you. I'm also getting that you guys, um, you guys could be getting into a new relationship here. And someone doesn't like that. But you gotta release your ex. Alright, Aries. Why is the Page of Wands here for Aries? The Hierophant. The Six of Swords. Someone here wants to commit to you. They're going to come in by messaging you. I feel like this person either doesn't have enough or they just come off as someone very immature, younger than you here. Um, I feel like this could be your new person. I feel like you guys are going to be starting a brand new spark of, an, of a new commitment is what I'm seeing. Like you guys are getting new commitment here, Aries. I'm seeing marriage with the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Tell me about the world card for Aries. Why is the world here for Aries? The sun card. I feel like you guys are um, ending up going to happier days. Why you leave this person in the dark here. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. You guys could be out dating. You're walking away and being emotionally balanced. Um, 
I feel like this person in your past is not going to walk away from you. Tell me about this uh, King of Pentacles. Oh. I feel like someone could be stuck on a third party too. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. For Aries. King of Pentacles for Aries. Yeah, we have the Nine of... Or I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands. Someone chose to be loyal to someone and now it's a burden for them. However, you're elevating spiritually and they're like worried about it. Someone's very burdened in a in a commitment. Someone could be very burdened with their finances. I'm also getting like they choose you, but they like try to keep up appearances all the time. The Knight of uh the King of Cups always I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles always comes off as someone who is like um Worried about their reputation. But you manifested great success in your life. So they feel like they could not be enough. Tell me about the Nine of Swords for Aries. Nine of Swords for Aries. Alright, so we have a few things that came out here. We have the High Priestess. Judgment. And the Page of Cups. Someone here is worried that a secret may come out, Aries. I always get this for you guys. The same story. But you know about this secret. Tell me about um, judgment. What's going on with judgment? Whatever's going on, um, it's karma. Is what I'm getting. Um, your best bet is to leave this person alone. Is what I'm getting, Aries. Because um, they have a secret. Tell me about the High Priestess for Aries. The death card. Yeah, you know deep down in your intuition that you need to end something here. This person is still going to come back and try to offer you um, something. They're still going to come back and try to apologize. But you're ending it. Yeah, we have the four pentacles here. It's like you're holding back and they're not letting go. It's like you're holding back, they're not letting go. Yeah, we have the nine of cups because you're their wish fulfillment here. And we have um, the wheel of fortune here. I feel like things change. You ought, you came into some sort of good luck here, uh, Aries, and it's like making them want to not let you go. So they're going to do crazy things so that they don't let you go. It's like they're a manipulator too. Alright, what is the energy for Aries right now? What is the energy for Aries? All right, so we have cycles, change, completion. Yeah, you change on this person, close the cycle out. It's going to eventually close out on itself. We have reunion and soul ties here. All right, let's see. What else What's going on with Aries? So we have self-love, creation, intentions. You're manifesting a lot. We also have ace, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you are moving into new love here. Um... Or you're heading into a commitment with someone here. And this is something that you manifested. Um, this person is trying to manifest you back in too. Your past person. What's going on with Aries? What's going on with Aries? I feel like you guys are in the celebratory um, energy right now. Everything is celebrated for you. But for them we have comfort zone, self, no clinging. Yeah, this person is going to cling to you here. We have control tactics. Be careful. This person likes to play mind games here to get you to cling to your past. Get you to cling to your self-node. Your past life. Things that no longer serve you, right? And we have action. Courage. Jupiter. Beginnings. Take action to not be um, controlled by other people, places, or things. Be passionate about your start. Have courage. Yeah, we have detachment and cold. So I feel like you're on to their control tactics. You followed your intuition and you cut off all connection from them. Yeah, because they're toxic. Bound bitterness. Patterns. Alchemy. Yeah, this person likes to... Um, oh, okay. I'm hearing something about like this person likes to... Maybe um, deal with people that like to... Being low vibrational energy, really. And, you know, they want you to be that way, but you're not that way. In fact, you separate yourself from this person. You see the control tactics for what they are. 
and you're just not having it. We have rebirth, winter. So it's like a new uh, vibe of going through your own transformation, your own sort of death, right? Um, as you cut yourself off from this person. Then we have fate detours, divine intervention. So something faded is happening here for you. I keep seeing that wheel of fortune. So you're getting a lot of, um, oh, I'm, I'm getting, you're getting good fate and they're getting bad fate here. Um, they're stuck in some sort of karmic cycle that they can't get out of. I was getting, yeah, they're stuck in a cycle they can't get out of. Let's get some more energy for, okay. Yeah, so we have family, home, commitment, growth, summer. I feel like in your energy, you're going to be getting some sort of new commitment here. This person feels guilty like they sabotage the connection. Um, and they want to have some sort of new spark and renewal, but I don't think that you're going to actually put your time in this person because they come off as someone very immature, um, always trying to one-up, always trying to be in competition with you, right? You don't want someone that's always in competition with you. And if they're going through any financial burdens right now, that's on them because, you know, they acted a certain way towards you. How about Aries? Fulfillment of wishes. You're beginning your wishes, Aries. If you stand your ground, yep. Keep standing your ground to this person. What else for Aries? Harmony. I feel like there's a connection in your guys' energy. But there's an X here. Trying to interfere. What's going on with Aries? Yeah, there's someone here that wants to come together with you. Right, yeah, so we have disruption. Yeah, see, look, someone wants to disrupt your harmony. Or someone wants to disrupt their harmony with you. So keep that, take that how it resonates. There's definitely um, an ex here that wants to disrupt everything. Um, then we have passion ignited. But you guys have passion for each other, so it might not happen the way that they think it's going to happen. Yeah, spiritual union. You can't, I can't lie. You're going to be heading into some sort of spiritual union here. Um, and everything's going to be okay as long as you let go of this X. All right, Aries, that was your reading. I hope this resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.